What's going on YouTube? I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but um, I'm going to share a little bit of my life story with you guys, and you know from watching my videos that ain't something I normally do. Um, proud to announce, and you know what's funny is I feel more comfortable talking to random strangers than I do my family, and it's kind of weird, you know, but um, I'm going into outpatient treatment for uh, my drinking. This is my uh, fourth weekend. Um, usually I do it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but uh, this coming Monday is Memorial Day, so I won't have class, but I'll go to AA meeting. Um, just going to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, first off, just to break the ice, my real name is Dustin, if you want to call me by that, it's up to you, but, uh, that's my real first name, and, uh, I don't know, I just, you know, I was against treatment, you know, I didn't think it worked because I kept hearing it over and over and over in my head, and from other people it doesn't work, but I'll tell you something. Just this four weeks of me being in there, I'll tell you what, not going to lie, I've relapsed a couple times. They've dealt with me. They've been patient. I haven't drank in nine days. And for me, that's a big accomplishment. And I'll tell you why. I used to get drunk every single day. You guys know it. I posted videos on here drunk that I've actually taken down. So makes me feel foolish. Makes me feel embarrassed. Because that's not how I was raised. That isn't who I am. Addiction's a powerful thing, man. That's what I've learned um, just in my four weeks. I know I'm earlier in recovery. I'm not trying to sound like the guy who's been 20 years sober. But I'm just saying it's made me realize a lot. Just in the four weeks and going to the meetings. Believe me, there's people there that got it way worse than I do. You guys thought I was bad? Oh, shit. Believe me. I ain't even a tip of the iceberg compared to these people, really. It's bad. A lot of people in there are legal trouble, getting drugs. They got ankle monitors on. It, it's bad. It's really bad. But I just want to tell you guys my experience so far. I grew up in a town of Wentworth, South Dakota. Look it up. Wentworth, which is W-E-N-T-W-O-R-T-H. That's right. Like Wentworth Miller. Look it up once. It's a real small, dinky little town. I had a great childhood. Um, Dad was a real abusive alcoholic, like I've said probably in previous videos. Very abusive alcoholic. Um, would hit me, hit my mom. I remember a story one time my mom told me that when she was eight and a half months pregnant with me, uh, my dad uh, locked her out in an ice cold winter. And it was like 10 below zero in South Dakota. I don't know if you, any of you are from the Midwest, but you know in the Midwest, in December, it gets very cold. Um, so, long story short, me and my dad haven't had a good relationship. I've tried talking to him on Facebook, you know, blah, 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 whatever. But it just, I don't think I can ever accept him. I really can't, you know. But seriously... If any of you are struggling with addiction, I don't care what it is, alcohol, drugs, like heroin, meth, marijuana, whatever it is, it's it's tough, man. I, I get you. I don't know what it's like to withdraw from any of that shit, but I know what it's like to withdraw from alcohol. Believe me, it's freaking hell. It is really, really bad. I mean, you would rather die. Seriously. So... You know, but they've taught me so much in four weeks. I'm going on my fifth week next week. Like I said, Monday I got off because it's Memorial Day. But um, made me realize, man, I'm not alone in this. You know, like I said, anybody, you know, I've always believed in God. That's never been an issue. You know, like I told you about three three months ago this month, I lost a fiance, Jordan, which you guys have seen that video, which I saved it. Um that she died in a motorcycle accident and that really drug me down. I was drinking before that, but that really is what really made me snap really bad. 
multiple trips to the ER. Sucks, man. It sucks. You know, and... You know, in all fairness, I think alcohol is very, very, very underrated when it comes to being addicted. Because it's so socially acceptable, man. I mean, eh, even me watching videos on YouTube, there'll be a beer ad that comes up. I'm like, are you kidding me? You just can't escape it. No matter where you go, there's beer, there's alcohol everywhere, you know. And just sucks. You know, it sucks. It, it sucks being sober. I'm not going to lie. Because when you're an alcoholic your whole life, I've been for years and years and years, and it's taken me a long time to adjust like this. It really is. But you know what? I don't miss the hangovers. I can function well. Again, I'm not vomiting every morning because I'm hungover. I don't miss that at all. And like I says, you know, it's tough. It's a working process, uh, progress, you know. Some of you may not be religious, and I'm perfectly okay with that. I'm working the 12 steps. And I got not going to lie, the 12 steps seem kind of a gimmick, like a... You know, like that as seen on TV bullshit. That's kind of what I'm thinking about it. But I'm keeping an open mind. And like they tell you in treatment, what works for you works for you. You know what I mean? It's just it's tough, man. Alcoholism sucks. It really is. It runs in the family. My whole family is addicted to some sort of substance. And it just kind of works against me. Not using that as an excuse, but, you know... When you grow up around addicts your whole life, it kind of tends to work against you. So, anyways, guys, that's why I haven't been making a lot of videos. I'm going out patient treatment. I considered inpatient treatment, but my insurance won't cover it because I got state insurance. They are, God, don't even get me started on that. They're a different story. But uh, I'm actually amazed they paid for the outpatient, to tell you the truth. But... It's an eight-week-long program that's uh, 40 weeks aftercare, which means I go once a week for 40 weeks. So I'm doing great. I feel great. I lost a lot of weight, as you can probably tell, without me dropping the phone, rather, right? Sorry about that. But, yeah, you know, I don't get the – I don't know why you guys are going to see that. If I'm even pointing it right, I don't even know. But lost a lot of weight. Been working out. Been watching what I do. I picked up a smoking habit, which I'm trying to quit, you know, but one thing at a time, right? That's all you can do, one thing at a time. Um, but seriously, guys, I'm not trying to make this video too long, but I just want to let you know everything's going great. And if any of you guys are, str I, I, it seems like almost everybody knows somebody who's struggling with alcoholism, whether it's their dad, their mom, their grandparents, aunts, uncles, friends, whatever. It's real, man. It is really real. It is a struggle. And like they're teaching me in treatment, a disease is not a, or a, addiction is not a habit. It's a disease. It's a mental disease. And I truly believe that because I'll tell you, man, maybe I'm lucky I didn't go through DTs. I probably should have. But then again, my main choice of alcohol was beer, which you can have a beer alcoholic and you can withdraw from that. But I mean, I've seen people in this treatment facility, they were drinking three bottles of vodka a day. And I'm not talking the pints. I'm talking the freaking Smirnoff glass bottles, the big bottles, drinking three of them a day. If I drank one of those fuckers, fuck, I'd be dead. You know? But I guess it's like anything else, your tolerance builds up. So, anyways, guys, hang in there. If you're dealing with addiction yourself or know somebody that is dealing with addiction, let them know there's hope. Because I'll tell you. I was a fallen down drunk. I am not happy about it. I'm not bragging about it. My dad was a very bad alcoholic, still is. My mom was addicted to things, pills, opiates, you know, whatever, weed, alcohol, you name it, you know. She tried everything under the sun, so. I mean, there's a guy in our my treatment center right now. He's not even 30 years old yet, and he's going to lose all of his teeth because of drug use. I mean, it, it, and he's going to have dentures. I mean, it's just it's not worth it, guys. It ain't worth it. It's not worth it doing drugs. Like it says, I can't relate to people who have done opiates, meth, heroin. I can't relate to any of that, so I'm not judging you on that, but I know what it's like to go through alcohol, and it's horrible. 
is really horrible. So, hey guys, you know, I'll let you, I'll keep you updated, let you know how it goes. But I want to thank you guys for being there with me. I want to thank you for watching my videos. And you know, one day I'll probably be able to talk to my family about how I really feel right now. But right now it's just a really hard because I'm in, you know, I live with addicts, you know what I mean? Gambling, you know, alcohol, you name it. It's tough. It's really tough and I understand. So, um, like I said, not much more to say, but that's what I've been doing. That's why I haven't been making a lot of videos. I still plan on doing NFL picks. Um, try to bring you probably some gameplay, but I'm too worried about the damn copyright situation. But anyways, guys, that's what I'm going through. You know, stay strong. If I can do it, my opinion, anybody can do it. So have a good night, guys. God loves you. Goodbye.